foundational steps, as I said earlier, uh, there are different roles in analytics. There are different domains. Uh, I mean, dom not domain. There are different functions. And based on function, you need skills. The very first skill is required today, and which is very, very important, is Excel and Google Sheet. People are collaborating through Google Sheet or Excel. I mean, ultimately, data is getting presented there. And then if you are very good in it, you know you can write formulas, you can search. Then the next step comes is learning a database language, and that is SQL. Now, every company is storing data in some kind of database, and you need to pull data from there, and then only you can do anything. So next is SQL. Now, there are different versions of SQL. There are different tools available in the market, which like you have Redshift, you have BigQuery, you have this, you have that. And everything is starts with SQL. If you know SQL very well, you can transition to any language like if you any any tool like if you are using red safe if somebody using something else you will be you will be able to shift or transition to that very easily so next is sql then if you want to like as you know sql you know excel and now the next thing is learning either r and python if you run if you learn python there are more chances for you to do good in your career because there is more demand of Python. R is little less, but if you know R, then you will, even if you know R, there are good chances of you getting opportunity. Now, the next thing is when you have this, uh, these technical skills, if you can understand and domain, like if you are working with e-commerce, if you are working with uh, let's say fintech. What are the challenges of those industry? What the like business side? If you if you can understand, then you can work better as a business analyst or someone who. Otherwise, if you have technical knowledge, you will be able to work with some CTO or technical people. All the analytics you will do, probably that will more suited for technical data analysts or you will work with CTO and tech side of people because they also do some kind of analysis. Uh, and the next thing is like if you can do if you can have some good understanding like basic what is standard deviation and what is a b testing that is like uh, your statistics if you can do better now after having this you can transition to more into uh, uh, data engineer or data scientist or more opportunity in your career but this is kind of foundation this is what a bare minimum requirement which you need these days because there are a lot of people who learn few things and they're just in the market and everybody is like i want to be i want to work in the data and they doesn't have good skills